Hi guys! In this tutorial I'll teach you how to make this cute wrap skirt. The pattern is very simple and easy to adjust in size. The tutorial is beginner friendly and consists of a variety of single crochet stitches and half double crochet stitches. If you like this skirt and want to make one too, keep watching, subscribe if you haven't already and I appreciate if you want to give me a thumbs up and if you have a question or an idea for a tutorial let me know in the comments down below. The free rhythm pattern can be found on my blog, the link is in the description box down below. Let's begin. To make this wrap skirt you need 5 skeins of Scheepjes Olifantje or other number 2 yarn, a G6 of 4mm crochet hook, 2 stitch markers, scissors and a tapestry needle. We begin the pattern with some measurements. Measure around your waist all the way around and write that number down. For me that is 74 centimeters or 19 inches. And then measure around the widest part of your hips and write that number down as well. That's 97 centimeters for me. To determine how wide your wrap skirt needs to be, you pick the number you write, you wrote down at number one. So for me that is 74 and multiply that by 1.4 and that is your skirt width. We start the skirt with the band. So to make the band you pick that number, so this number, and then add a meter, so about 40 inches to that. So here you have about one meter and we add two times 50 centimeters or two times 20 inches to this amount. So for me that is two meters. So my band for the beginning needs to be two meters. So measure around your waist, write that number down. Measure around your hips, the widest part of your hips, write that number down, pick the number you wrote down for your waist, multiply that by 1.4 and that number becomes the width of your wrap skirt. We start by making the band and the band needs to be this number, this width and add 50 centimeters or 20 inches on each, each side. So when you add those numbers. For me, I need to make a band of two meters. Maybe your band is wider or shorter. That is okay, just work with your own measurements. We start the skirt with the ribbon at the top, so the band, and we make that band with half double crochet foundation chain. If you are new at crochet and you think the half double crochet foundation chain is too hard for you, then you can start by making a normal chain and working a row of half double crochets on top. If you want to learn how to make the half, half double crochet foundation chain, keep on watching and I'll show you how. So, grab your yarn and hook, make a slip knot, slide it on your hook, and now we start our pattern. To make the half double crochet foundation chain, you chain two, one, two, then yarn over, insert your hook in the first chain you made, so the loop on your hook, and then chain one, and the first chain you make, make is the one next to the knot, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, now we yarn over and normally for a half double crochet we pull through all three loops on your hook. For the half double crochet foundation chain you yarn over and pull through one loop. Pinch that loop between, so this stitch between your fingers so you know where to insert your hook in for the next stitch. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook to finish your stitch. 
Let's do that again. Yarn over and then insert under the two loops of the stitch you held between your fingers. And make sure you have two loops on your hook, like this. Then yarn over, pull through that loop, so you have three loops on your hook. And then yarn over and pull through the first loop on your hook to make your new chain. Hold that chain between your fingers. You, have, you still have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook to finish your stitch. Yarn over. Insert under the two loops. You pinch between your fingers. Make sure you have two loops on your hook. And if you think it is easier to put in a stitch marker so you know where to insert your hook. When you are a beginner that is sometimes easier to find the stitch than to hold it between your fingers. Then put in a stitch marker instead of pinching it between two fingers. Then yarn over, pull up a loop, so you have three loops on your hook. Now we make the chain first and then finish your stitch. So yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook, hold this loop, this stitch, or put in a stitch marker, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook to finish your stitch. Yarn over, insert under the two loops of the stitch and you have between your fingers yarn over through three loops on your hook now we make the chain first and then half double crochet so we work up a chain and half double crochet all at once all in one so yarn over pull through one to make your chain here you see your chain, yarn over, pull through all three stitches, all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert under the two loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one, hold that one, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, insert under the two loops of the chain, up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through three. Let's do this one more time. Yarn over, insert under the two loops of the chain you just made, pull up a loop, pull through one, pull through three. Oops. So this is your half double crochet foundation chain. You make this chain the length you wrote down while making your measurements. So for me, I have to work it until it is two meters in width. So keep on working and if you have the length you need, then I'll meet you back. Okay, my is, mine is the length I need. It is two meters. And now we have to determine where our skirt part begins. So you have your beginning on one, one side and the beginning on the other side or the end. Grab those two ends together like this and then make sure your band is not twisted and then find the middle, put in a stitch marker in the middle and then let me show you. I measured that my skirt needs to be one meter in width, the total width of my skirt. Um, so from the middle, put in a stitch marker from the middle, you, you measure 50 centimeters this way and 50 centimeters the other way and then put in stitch markers on that point. I want to be sure I work my skirt exactly in the middle so I count my stitches from this end to the stitch marker and from the other side to the other stitch marker and make sure that is even. 
matter an even amount of stitches. If you have one more or less on one side or the other, then replace your stitch marker so the um, numbers are correct. Not necessary, but when you keep, want to be precise, then you can do it like that. Okay, when you place your stitch markers, then it is time to start the skirt part. Okay, when you place your stitch markers, then it is time to start with the skirt part. And therefore, you find the first stitch with the stitch marker. Grab your yarn, make a slip knot, and of course I bind off and weaved in my ends on both sides so I can start my skirt. So here is the stitch with the stitch marker. You can take it out, insert your hook in this stitch, grab your slip stitch and pull it through the stitch. Then chain one to secure and now your yarn is reattached. Now we make one row of half double crochet stitches all the way across until you are at the stitch with the other stitch marker. So yarn over, insert in the same stitch as where you attach your yarn and make a half double crochet. I work over my tail so I don't have to weave it in later. You can leave it out and weave it in in the end. Yarn over, go to the next stitch and make a half double crochet. Next stitch, insert, half double crochet. So repeat half double crochets until the stitch with the stitch marker, including the stitch with the stitch marker. You can take it out then, and then I'll meet you back to show you how to go on from here. So repeat half double crochets until the stitch with the stitch marker, and then I'll meet you back. Okay, I have one stitch left, the stitch with the stitch marker, so I take out the stitch marker and finish the last half double crochet. You now can choose. You can work up the rest of the skirt also in the half double crochet stitch that is an option you and then you chain two turn your work and work half double crochet stitches and every stitch across and repeat that or you can work up single crochet stitches then chain one turn your work and make single crochets all the way across or you can do as i do and make Extend single crochets. So we chain one, then turn a work. Insert your hook in the first stitch. So chain one doesn't count as a stitch. Insert your hook in the first stitch. Then yarn over, put up a loop, two loops on your hook. And instead of yarning over and pull through both loops on your hook to make a single crochet, we make an extended single crochet. So yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Okay, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one, Yarn over, pull through two. The next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. So you can choose make normal half double crochets, so or normal single crochets, or make this extended single crochet. That is an option, or make a stitch pattern that you like. So. You can vary in this part of the skirt. Two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Insert in the next stitch, through one, through two. 
next stitch, put up a loop, pull through one, pull through two. Next stitch, pull through one, pull through two. Okay. Your work should look like this. Work this to the end in every stitch an extended single crochet. When you are at the end, then chain one, turn your work just like you did on this side and work your way back. So make two rows of extended single crochet stitches. And then I'll meet you back and show you how to make your skirt wider so it fits around your hips as well. So two rows of extended single crochets. When you've finished your two rows of extended single crochets, then it is time to start increasing to make your skirt wider. We do that by chain one and then turn your work. And then we make two extended single crochet in the first stitch. So insert in the first stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And in the same stitch, we make another extended single crochet. So insert in the same stitch, pull up a loop, pull through one, and pull through two. And now you increased on this side of the skirt. Now we just make one extended single crochet in every stitch across. And in the end, in the last stitch, you make two extended single crochets in one stitch again. So you also increased on that side. And then you repeat rows three and four. So this is row four. And the one before this one was row three. So one extended single crochet in every stitch. And row four, two in one stitch in the beginning, one in every stitch across, and then to end the last stitch on the end of each row, on the end of that row. And then your uneven row is just one stitch in every stitch again. Repeat rows three and four until you reach the width you wrote down at number two, so the widest part of your hips, and then multiply that by 1.4, just like you did at the width of your waist. If you reach that width, then just repeat row three. So one stitch in every stitch until you have the length you like, minus one inch or two and a half centimeters. And then I will meet you back. Okay, I finished the length of my skirt, minus one inch or two and a half centimeters. You see, I increased for about four inches or 10 centimeters at the side, and then I just worked a straight line to the point where I am now. Now you can choose. You can work your way until you have one centimeter or half an inch, about half an inch. Shorter than the length you like. Or you can do like me, when we work two more rows at the bottom with decreases. So we have a rounded edge on both sides. So if you want a square edge at the bottom, you can leave it like this and work until you have one centimeter or half a centimeter left of the length you prefer. And then start with a border that comes next after when I around the corners, around the corners, or you can leave it like this, or you can work up two rows like me with decreases in the beginning and in the end to make those corners nice and round. So choose what you prefer and follow along or leave it like this. That is totally up to you. Both options are beautiful. Okay. Let's 
to round the corners. I have one more stitch for this row. So insert in the last stitch and then finish my extended single crochet. For the last two rows, which is optional, so if you don't want to do this, then skip this and go straight to making the border. Okay, so end of the row, chain one, turn your work, just like you did in every row. And then we make a decrease. Oops. And a decrease is a extend a single crochet two together. So insert in the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook, two loops on your hook, leave those two loops on your hook and insert in the next loop or in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook. You now have three loops left, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that is your first decrease. Extended single crochet two together. Now it is just one extended single crochet in every stitch across until you have two stitches left. And in those two stitches you make a decrease as well. So you make a extended single crochet two together. Just like you did for the first stitch. So work your way across until you have two stitches left and then I'll meet you back to show you the extended single crochet two together one more time. Okay, I have two stitches left. So I take out my stitch marker and we make a extended single crochet two together. So insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook, two loops on your hook, leave those two loops on your hook and insert in the last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook, you have, you still have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And that is your decrease done and your row done. So for the next row, chain one, turn your work. And then we make another decrease here. So insert in the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook. Leave those two loops on your hook and insert in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop. And then yarn over, pull through the other three loops on your hook. And then your decrease is done. And then we make one extended single crochet in every stitch across until you are at the end and you have two stitches left and in those two stitches you make a extended single crochet two together as well to make your last decrease. You see the corner is round now. If you want to make it even more round you can choose to make another row another row of decreases or you can leave it just like this. So finish this row until you have two stitches left then make your decrease at the end by making an accent single crochet two together and then I'll meet you back to show you how to finish the piece by making a nice border around. Okay, when you finished your two rows of decreases, you see there is a, let me take out the stitch marker. We don't need the stitch markers anymore. You see there is a rounded edge and that is the case on both sides. Now we can bind off 
a weave in this end and then we start to make a border around the side and the bottom of the skirt. So, and with a chain one, cut your yarn and bind off. You can weave this one in right now or you can work over it while you make your border. So decide which side you want to start. Starting your border here is the place I'm going to start. So at the top of your skirt, that is the top. Insert your hook in the first row at the side. And then grab your yarn, make a slip knot. Grab your yarn with your hook, pull through and chain one to secure. Now we make single crochets along the side. You make one single crochet in every row. So every row gets one single crochet for the whole side. And when you are at the bottom, you can use the stitches. So that is easy. So find your first row, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up a loop and pull through two. Just a normal single crochet. Then go to your next row, insert your hook, pull up a loop and make a single crochet. So work a single crochet in every row across until you reach the bottom and then work a single crochet in every stitch along the bottom and on the other side you do the same. So work your way around making normal single crochets, no more extended single crochets and when you are all the way on the other side then I'll meet you back and show you the final step to finish the border and then you're all done i finished my row of single crochets along the edges and you see here how the rounded edge looks like at this point so i worked my way all the way to this side and now it's time to make the final row for the final row we make crab stitches or reverse single crochets therefore we chain one and then we need to insert our hook we don't turn our work so we work in the opposite direction as you normal work in so you see here my chain one and here's my first stitch you insert backwards in that last stitch then yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two to finish your single crochet now you see here your next stitch so go back insert in that stitch grab your yarn pull up a loop and yarn over pull through two Go to your next stitch. Sometimes it is easy to hold the yarn on your, to hold the loop on your hook with your finger so it doesn't slide off when you insert your hook in the stitch. So go back, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So hold your yarn, find your stitch. 
front to back insert, pull up a loop, and pull through two. To the next stitch, insert, pull up a loop, pull through two. Repeat this all the way around until you are at the other end. And then bind off, weaving your end. And then you're all done. And this is the end result. I hope you like it. And I hope you like this tutorial. If you have a question, you can ask me and I'll do my best to answer all your questions. If you like what you see and you aren't subscribed yet, then click the red subscribe button and the bell button next to it. Give me a thumbs up. And if you want to show me your result, I would love to see it. You can do that on Instagram at Tulips Crochet. I hope to see you next time. Bye.